Hey guys, I'm Seth, and in this video, I'm going to talk about the newly launched uh, Citroen C3. So let's start the further video. Look at the key. This is the key of the Citroen C3. You have the lock function, unlock function, and this is normal key. So coming down over here, you have the Citroen logo, which is embedded in the grill. Also, you have the uh, you can say the square or the octagonal shape of the fenders at the uh, sorry what you can say the radiator grill underneath the emblem here you have the number plate area here you have the skid plate like uh, sorry lower bumper is finished in silverish color here you have the fog lamp you do get the fog lamp pin top end variant and also another change for the top end variant is that you get the blue color cladding over the uh, fog lamp again here you have the LED DRLs and the halogen headlamp cluster. This uh, you can see you have the two LED DRLs, one is which blends with the grill. You can see over here. So, these are the things at the front. Now, coming at the side, you have the MacPherson strut with the coil spring suspension at the front. You have the tire size is about 195 65 R 15 inches. You can also get the alloy wheels, which is for the top end variant, or else you can made it for added accessories. Here, you have the wheel caps and disc brake at the front. So these are the things, side cladding, side indicator, here you have the, now this is basically a dual tone color car, which is, uh, and also this is the second top variant, here you have the electro folding OVMs, so here you have the normal conventional style of door handles, here you have the K function, and this is how the actual car looks from the side. You also get the side clearing, but for the top end variant. Coming back to the rear, the rear tire size of this car is about 195-65 or 15 inches, same. And you get the uh, coil uh, twist beam with the coil uh, rear twist beam with the coil spring suspension at the rear. Here you have the seat again. Here you have the LED uh, tail light cluster with the Citroen embossing. So these are the things coming over here. The rear tire section of this car has been designed with a simplistic way. You have C3 and Citroen badging. That's all. And there is nothing any badging over here. Only it gets another badging which is available in turbo car. And that defines that the car is turbo over here. And I think I'm not sure what of the uh, uh, what of the what badging is that. So coming over here with a high mount stop lamp this is how the actual rear tailgate looks like here you have the lower bumper number plate area also here you have the uh, reading and uh, number plate lights number plate lights over here so these are the things and here you have the two reverse parking sensors with the rear reflectors so these are the things that this car offers at the rear now let's get inside of the car and check it out what it car offers now coming over here you have the manual adjustable seats for driver height and the, uh, again front back adjustment is also available here are the controls for power windows for driver and co-driver this is to open the door this is to lock and unlock the door here you have the grab handle here you have the cubby space getting in and out of this car is quite easy because the door opening is quite wide and as this car is quite height at once so first of all at this seat okay you have the conventional key so with the Citroen logo, now here I will put the key over here. Uh -huh. This is how the digital instrument console looks like. Now this is, you can say, available for each and every car, each and every variant. So you get this beautiful 10.1 inch of the touch screen, which is available for each and every variant, which supports Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, also okay coming over here it's a home function so here you have the radio again you can call you also have systems uh, where you can adjust the general or you can say the display the phone audio vehicle settings are also there no alert it it will alert you and also navigation is also there so android on apple car is there underneath the uh, screen here you have the ac vents which are beautifully styled which are unique in styling because this type of the styling is only used in citroen so here you have the ac vents AC, uh, sorry ac control you have the manual ac control underneath here you have the has a lamp switch with the one usb port and one conventional 12 volt charging socket here you have some space to keep your phone also there you have, you have plenty of space at the front because you have two cup holders here is also some space to keep your phone cards wallets here also there is some space so your phone can be uh, phone can be fitted over easily this is the five speed manual which defines that this car is again uh, this is a non-dorbo variant you get the six speed manual for 
द टर्वो वेरियंट दैट इज वन पॉइंट टू टर्वो वेरियंट हेयर यू हैव द हैंड ब्रेक हेयर ऑल्सो हैव यू हैव सम स्पेस टू कीप समथिंग अगेन हेयर यू हैव लिटिल अमाउंट ऑफ स्पेस वेर यू कैन पुट योर कॉइन्स ऑर द टिकट्स एंड हेयर यू हैव द रिसेंट अमाउंट ऑफ साइज फॉर द ग्लोव बॉक्स विच इज क्वाइट डीप एंड ऑल्सो दिस इज द आई आर वी एम हेयर यू हैव द रीडिंग लाइट सन ब्लाइंड हेयर यू हैव द सन ब्लाइंड विद वैनिटी मिरर फॉर द को ड्राइवर same the same style is events for the co driver and for the driver as well now you get this beautiful steering wheel which looks quite similar to the steering wheel that they offer in Citroen C5 here you have the controls for the media you don't have any cruise control here you have the toggles for the indicators this is for the wipers which have, uh, in this car you have got the indian styled uh toggles also now as i've said before this is the digital instrument console which shows the average again the speed your distance uh, sorry your fuel gauge your again coolant temperature and if you want to set or change here you have one switch from here you can change it so it it will show each and everything that you needed so these are the things again this steering wheel is tiltable not the telescopic you can change the angle the way you want it so these are the things with this car at the front the seats are quite comfortable and another one thing that you have this manual control orvms they are not electro folding sorry they are manually operated orvms same for the driver and co driver and these are the things now let's get to the rear and let's check out what this car offers at the rear passengers so as i said before the getting in and out of this car is quite easy now coming over here so this is actually how the c3 yeah, as i am 511 i have ample amount of leg room and ample amount of the headroom so this seat has been pulled to its most position this is way back to its position it is at the last position of here for amenities here you have cup holders and the power window controls for the rear rear two doors they have given over here other than giving on the armrest so also you have the two c fast charging points and these are the things you don't get in the rear ac vents you also have uh, fitted headrest no armrest and three point seat belts also these are the things with this car now let's go for the boot Okay. Also, you have some amount of the cubby space over here, and this is only the grab handle. This is to open the door and lock, lock and unlock the door. Now, get. Let's go for the. So, here you have ample amount of the boot space. It is around three hundred liters, and here we have the parcel shelf. So, these are the things. Again, for amenities, there is not as such things. but you can uh, tie your shopping bags over here which can hold about the weight about 3 kg maximum 3 kg is the capacity of that and here you have the spare wheel these are the things you have the high load lip so it, it will become little bit difficult uh, to pull or uh, to keep your heavy luggage now let's go the one part that i missed out is the engine bay so let's first open the engine bay so that you will come to know and here you have the chalo function where you can lock and this is for the headlight leveler sorry headlight leveler and chalo lock function this is an unique style or you can say the conventional style of pulling the uh, front engine bay now let's open it up quite easily let me So this car gets two engine options. There is 1.2 liter normal version and turbo version. The normal version produces about 80 bhp of power and 115 newton meter of torque at 4,750 rpm meter with five-speed manual. And the claim mileage for this engine is about 19.8 kmpl. Now another engine is a 1.2 liter pure tech, uh, sorry turbo engine which produces about 180 bhp of power and around 115 newton meter of torque at 1750 rpm mated with 6 speed manual gearbox and claim mileage for this engine is about 19.4 kmpl so these are the things with this car i hope you enjoyed this video i hope that i have cleared your all doubts and if you really want to buy any of this c3 or any of the citroen cos may it be c3 may it be the new all new c5 then do visit the before us citroen showroom so these are the things and i hope that i have cleared your all doubts so go for the world 
so hey guys this video was all about the newly launched Citroen C3 so this comes at the price point of 5 lakh rupees in showroom I think and it will go up to the 10 to 11 lakhs and uh, which competes directly competes with the Toyota Punch uh, sorry Toyota no, Tata Punch I'm sorry for that and there are some features which uh, which are absent or which are missing in this car but they are the Tata Punch offers and there are some features that the Tata Punch misses out but this car offers now this car is mainly, uh, mainly focused on practicality rather than more you can say the tech savvy person who is more tech savvy person want more tech then he will go for the Tata Punch who want the little just car with a good amount of uh, features that he would use for day to day life then Citroen C3 is for them and my word is you should shortlist this car shortlist it and you can go with this i hope you have enjoyed the video and if you want to buy any of the c drawing cars may it be a c5 may it be a c3 then do visit the before c drawing showroom which is located at the pune and i hope that i have cleared your all doubts if you enjoyed this video then do like it share it with your friends also don't forget to press the bell notification so that you won't miss any single upload till then that's it that's it take care i'll see you in the next video Bye -bye.